Well, we know big family events are a staple of Thanksgiving, but beyond the food, football, and fun, we've also got to deal with flu, COVID, and other illnesses. Our Emily Longnecker explains what to look out for and how to protect yourself this Thanksgiving. The holidays are here, and with them, the chance to catch more than just the holiday spirit. Especially across this whole winter, but especially around Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's, all these times when we're having people, they're going to be together, they're going to be in a closed-in area, they're maybe going to be a little bit less careful and protective around it. We know that these are going to have significant rates of infection. Dr. Ethan Blocker-Smith is a primary care physician with IU and says he's been seeing an increase in cases of three viruses lately, COVID, the flu, and RSV. The alarm is being sounded, especially around what's going on with flu, because everybody's been thinking COVID, but this flu season looks to be particularly bad. And it's just getting started. We're seeing significant trending above what we would expect for this early in the season. Then there's COVID still doing its thing with two new variants emerging recently and a new booster to combat them. We can't ever make infection zero, unfortunately, because it reproduces so very quickly but we can definitely reduce the rates of death and of hospitalization. When it comes to RSV, infectious disease doctors at Riley Hospital for Children say their numbers are peaking. There's a lot of children's hospitals whose ICUs are already full with kids in severe respiratory distress from RSV. And it really looks like it's gonna be a bad RSV year as well. So what can you do? If you're thinking of getting vaccinated before heading to Thanksgiving dinner, don't count on that protecting you for Turkey Day. It takes about two weeks for the body to make antibodies to fight off viruses like COVID and the flu. Dr. Blocker Smith advises avoiding people who may be sick, washing your hands regularly and not sharing utensils during meals, and getting tested as soon as possible if you don't feel well. And should you get sick and end up at a doctor's office or urgent care, expect to wait your turn to get help. It's possible. Just bear with us. It's going to be a rough winter. Thanks, Emily. Right now, we've got you covered for Thanksgiving online. There's everything you need to know if you're traveling from gas prices to the best ways to navigate traffic. Plus, what's open and closed on the holiday. That's all at WTHR.com and on the WTHR app.